Greetings everybody, we're back with more Secret of Evermore and we um, used the futuristic escape pod and now we're crash landing somewhere. I have no idea what's going on and the series will be over because we will die. And that's the third explosion. Or maybe the fourth, I don't know. <laughs> I already lost track of how many explosions th this game has. Oh, that was some landing. I think the pod and bazooka are shot. Uh, where am I? Anyway, and where's my dog? Hey everybody! A pop stop! Where are we? Oh, there it is. Wow. Is that really you? You've changed. Hmm. If you're really my dog, you'll fetch this stick. Now go get it. Man, what, what am I doing with my life? I can't believe this shit. Well, this isn't the stick, but it will do. Come on, buddy, let's look around. Yeah, that's not the stick we threw, but at least we can stick with this. <laughs> the best pun ever made. So the game finally begins uh, for real. We're here in this jungle place and walking around with our dog and finding shit. And um, he will be your companion through the game. It's so nice. I like having a dog with me. I'm more of a cat person, but I really like dogs as well. And he is a very nice character. Now, he isn't uh, an annoying NPC following you. He is really useful. He is uh, strong. He is, has more health and defense. And he can sniff around for items. So you see, he found something over here. And we found some roots. And all these ingredients and all this uh, stuff that we'll find, like roots, uh, ash, crystal, whatever. We're gonna find many different uh, ingredients, as, as they're called. And you use them for um, formulas to cast magic, if you want to call it that. Like alchemy. So this game doesn't feature MP, magical power, and, you know, throwing fireballs with magic power. No, it's more, like, realistic. It's alchemy and formulas, and you mix shit to make a an effect. A spell. So I really like that. It's so cool. It's so it's uh, quite different and um, it's yeah, kicking ass all day. All these mosquitoes. Fuck you. Yeah. Now you want to know something uh, really failed and interesting. <laughs> uh, some of you might know this if you have followed me for a long time, but this is my. Oh, I think it's my fifth series on this game, and I've never finished it. Uh, back in 2010, I started uh, my first series, and Cream's reached level 2. And um, halfway through the game, I lost my file, and I had to do a new series where I got back to where I was. But I did it as a live stream, so it didn't really count as a series, but kind of, anyway, to get back where I was. And then I continued, and then I stopped, and then I did a new series, which was the third one. And that was a low level challenge, I think. Or it was just a chill. It was either the third or the fourth uh, series that was a low level challenge. And uh, that was also a live stream. And then there was some casual stream. But uh, I've never done a complete series from start to finish. And uh, it's so failed because I love this game. And. Um, Shit, so uh, fucking finally I'm going to make a um, full series on this game and we're going to have so much fun finding all these crystals. Now once we touch this leaf, something bad will happen. I have a strange feeling about this. And we will have our first boss event. This raptor dude is going to hide in the bushes and jump out and then run around. And he is uh, pretty difficult for beginners, um, from what I've seen, and <laughs> even for me as well. But uh, the way enemies work, and you as well, is that you see uh, my bar down there, but it goes up to 100% and then I can attack. Like this. I can attack um, else as well, but uh, I don't do any damage, so you kind of need to wait for it to go to 100% before you attack. And the dog works in the same way, enemies work in the same way, they attack and then they have to wait until they get 100% again and our dog died. Uh, that was not good at all, because now he won't get experience and you get a lot of XP for these monsters. But uh, That's how it is, we'll have to beat him. Oh, 
on our own. And we missed. So I usually do like that and just trust your dodging skills. He's gonna try to run back very soon. And I missed. <laughs> Uh, so I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day. I don't... I don't really know. I'm, I'm feeling very lost, as I said in the last episode, why I'm kind of down and uh, all this. But I hope playing this game and making commentary is going to... You know, make me th think of something else and have uh, fun. And playing this game always makes me happy. I don't think I will ever in my life get tired of uh, this game and many others of those nostalgic games for me. It's just they will always be a part of my life in some way and uh, it's so fascinating and uh, I like it very much. Get back! Nice, we reached level 3. Now this uh, last one I believe is, uh, he will jump out right away. No dilly dallying around the bush. But he will always jump diagonal, so if you stay down there, you will never get hit, and you will be cl fairly close to him. Man, you're a fast one. Get over here. Oh, let's get him on the rebound. There we go. Oh, he's still after me. <laughs> he's not going to evade me. Look at that. And that was that. We got 50 talents, which is uh, the currency, and a pedal, which is a healing item. Unfortunately, it cannot resurrect uh, or, you know, bring him back. He's like knocked down now. He's not dead. Uh, we need a biscuit for that. Or just visit an inn. So now we ended up in this village. Let's talk to some peeps. We are the village of uh, Fire Eyes. A we of the village of uh, Fire Eyes welcome peaceful visitors. Thank you for protecting us from those nasty raptors. Please stay for a while and have some nice petals. Well, thank you very much. I think now when the dog is dead, he cannot sniff for items, so that's kind of bad. You're not one of us. Get the fuck out of here! Not a viper either. You're like Fire Eyes. Never talk to me again. Found some ash. Now let's go and visit the inn, which is right in here. We can bring our dog back. Hello, friend. Welcome to my inn. Would you like to rest for 10 talents? Sure. We kind of need that. And I need some white wine. Yummy sauce. <clears throat> I hope you had a good rest. Would you like uh, for me to record your progress? Yes, and now we can just save over the last one. Just like that. See you later. Now we can also do the classic RPG thing of um, looting everybody's house. And they don't care. And I like this uh, feeling and this uh, situation in these games. Like, they don't know me. They've never seen me. I'm very different. I go in here, take all their shit. They don't care. And I talk to them and they're like, if you learn alchemy formula, you can find ingredients for them along the jungle paths. So see, there's no hello, I'm blah blah blah, an introduction, it's just, it's like they already know me, like this guy. You'll find alchemy ingredients aplenty if you search the village outskirts. But be careful, the place is packed with creepy creatures. How nice. Our dog is back, he's going to sniff like kingdom, like, <laughs> till kingdom come. There are many special items that you should bring along with you on your journey. Petals, nectar and honey heal wounds and replenish energy. And our dog wants to go somewhere, but he can't. He needs to stay within my range. Now, for the text boxes, we can actually go into window edit and change how they look. Now, let's see. I usually go with just full clear. And then I change these depending on where I am in the game. And I think this one fits the jungle theme. So we're gonna go with that. So now when we talk to someone, let's see, this girl, this lovely bitch. Let's see, it's clear, a little easier to read. I'm the source of goods in this village. What can I do for you? We can buy some shit. Uh, we can buy dog biscuits. Would be very good so we can resurrect our dog. So he gets experience. So petals heal you 40 health. Essence or herbal essence as they're actually called, will cure you of poison, 
and stuff like that. The pixie dust, expensive as shit. I didn't know what it did for the longest time. But if you have it activated on you, like a buff, and you die, you get resurrected right away. So it's very, very interesting and good. Now look at this hole. There's like some creature popping out, like, hello. <laughs> and I like him. He's so cute. And there's a lizard. Let's get in here. Hello, dude. Thanks for fighting off the creatures outside of village. Please take this grass vest. And we got a grass vest. Now we got a new menu or a thing right here, which is equipment. And we can equip our grass vest, which will increase our defense by three. And in the stat screen, this is what it looks like. We can see our health and our level and the total experience we have and the experience needed for the next level. And then there's the currency, and we're using talents right now. And then the basic shit of attack and defense and all that. Our equipment to the right. And we can press R to go into the dog's stats. And as you can see, he has 10 defense. And so do I. Because I have the grass vest now, which increased it by 3. But you can buy equipment for the dog as well. And that's this episode, good folks. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day. Please leave a comment if you want to, I really appreciate it, it makes me very very happy, especially in these hard times. See ya!